Welcome to this question and answer session where Stephen Davy answers questions about the Bible and the Christian faith. Here's the question of this episode. My question was, even from eight years old, I've never celebrated the Christmas or Easter. And after the military, I don't celebrate any holidays, not even Veterans Day or birthdays or anniversaries. I recently started studying the Bible in 2011. And my question is, I don't see anywhere that I'm supposed to celebrate the birth, death, or resurrection of Jesus, like this Christmas and Easter celebrations. Now, I don't see any place in there except all I have to do is confess Jesus as my Savior and believe he was born of a virgin, died, crucified, and uh, he's going to return. Thank you. We were glad to hear from you, so thank you for taking the time to call in. Stephen, what help can we offer? Well, first of all, uh, I think... Our listener is combining two different issues. One is uh, the definition of the gospel, and the other is whether or not we celebrate those special gospel events. So let's make sure we draw a dividing line here. You're, you're not diluting the definition of the gospel because you celebrate it, uh, whether or not we know the correct date of Christ's birth or his crucifixion or his resurrection. That, that's really not essential. What matters is that we showcase our belief in Christ, and these special times allow us culturally to showcase our joy and our delight in Christ's birth and his crucifixion, death, burial, and, and resurrection. So let's make sure uh, we agree with you that you can be saved and not celebrate, you know, anything. And make sure we understand the gospel is defined not by any observance of festival or season or or anything like that. But I'm hearing you saying, you know, you're not going to celebrate anything. You're not celebrating birthdays either or, or anniversaries. You need to celebrate and smile and enjoy what you have in in Christ. Listen, God gave the Jewish people holidays to remember. They remember their exodus from Egypt. We call that the Passover. They celebrated the Feast of Booths. That was the wheat harvest and the expectation of the coming kingdom. They were given a special celebration of their forgiveness of sins. That's the Day of Atonement. They were given other celebrations like Purim. These remembered God's provision. These feasts are observed by by Jews. And by the way, even the Lord remembered these special celebrations. What about today? The church is not Israel. But guess what? Did you ever think about the fact that we are worshiping on Sunday because that day was chosen by the early church by Acts 20 as a day to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. And I remind my congregation that every Sunday is Easter Sunday. We're celebrating 52 times a year. Every time, by the way, you take communion, that's a special event to celebrate his death. So let's make sure we divide between the definition of salvation, which doesn't require any festival or special ceremony, and and let's separate that from the fact that we do want to celebrate these special events. We ought to be joyful. Our world ought to see joy on our faces, and these are great opportunities. But I hope you celebrate these special events for family members that God has given you. Thanks for listening today. This has been a production of Wisdom for the Heart. To learn more about our ministry, visit wisdomonline.org. And be sure and hit the subscribe button to be notified of new episodes.